I'm, uh, I'm curious to see where VP is going to land, if they're sticking with a, with a different strategy and yeah. if anybody else is going to change their strategy as well. Like, are they, are they sticking to the same? Because you might have a different playing path here. All right, let's get into it then. It is going to be another Erangel to start things off. A huge thank you to our sponsors joining us here at the PGIS, especially Intel, to join for the plane. It is time, match number four. We are getting into proceedings. So far, Africa Freaks two in a row. Could they make it three? Who knows? Let's get into Erangel with Hansi as well as Hypo. Thank you so much. And the plane part we have seen some brutal ones and this ain't far from it either up towards zaki all the way down towards milter power super northeastern lean to this high park yeah no, i mean this time around the first thing that stands out vp dropping together so love to see that they're gonna hopefully see them <laughs> reset a little bit although uh i mean it wasn't it wasn't their demise in the previous game right we can't really fault them too much for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but everything really, except for the southwest of Erangel, going to be accessible. We're going to see actually SDK switch things up. They did drop down onto Sosnovka in the previous game, and Oath was the second team to do so. So my eyes immediately drawn towards Pat Caps and Snake. It looks like they're going to drift a little further north of Yasnaya, Relo and Bay Belfrost over to the east side. SDK returning to some form of normality in terms of their drop spot, at least. Yeah, I'm just keeping my eyes across the board. I think most teams have their space. I don't think anyone's too close by. It might be a little grab for a car or two. It looks like we're getting that right now, but uh, Triumph going to head over towards the compound, maybe get himself that nice little buggy, and Jay is going to grab uh, the UAS. So it should be okay. Circle-wise, I'm curious where this goes because we could have a center. We could have... We've had some... <laughs> yeah, <but> like... <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at here. Brilliant. Okay. I'm going to introduce you to something right now. Rich has had to deal with my nonsense. So it's now your turn. Now, you see that bit by Zaki? We'll call that the chicken tendy. You know, that big bit of land because it just kind of looks like a chicken tendy up there. And we've got Georgia Pole. And then I guess Everest is in there and a little bit of the plane crash. But this is, a, again, another wild circle. Pock, what do you make of this? What, what are the big takeaways from a circle like this? I mean, early positioning once again, Hannah, that's kind of been the trend with every game so far today, but water obviously a huge factor in this. So how much teams are going to read into circle one and circle two might try and find themselves a spot to just kind of leapfrog in and, uh, and anticipate yep. that water shift if it is still a factor. Now, the big thing to consider here is the split we're going to get between teams that bank north and south of George Pole Bay. Um, that later on, again, it, it comes down to two bridges, right? The, the east wrap you got to consider is going to be very congested with how many of these teams are, mm -hmm. are obviously not dropping on the northwest side of the map. So those bridges become really, really crucial if, if you know, we do get that, that shift kind of either side. Um, I'm going to expect more to try and play towards the south here, but I mean, looking around, you know, you have both of the hard spawns out east of crates and obviously east of North Georgia itself. Mm. this is a tricky one a really really tricky one because with with three <laughs> teams kind of already dropping into this circle actually right now this is kind of the situation i was just about to talk about these early dashes for compounds become so risky even more so if you're savior and you're doing it solo one bonus for savior is excluding the mutant he's got there he's actually pretty well geared but i think Batulin spotted him out enough that he's called for support spyro's not far but lou and here's are gonna be heading over Sp savior's trying They're to keep it quiet yeah. but man he he's been noted i love this off angle from lou gonna try and keep him pinned so he can't back away easily and look at that they've now got him surrounded and they want to get him gone quick they don't want yes. support yes. coming over they don't want to waste time on this they want to be able to focus on themselves there's a first nade so first kind of confirmation position is noted savior's now on red alert he might have to call for some support if they want to commit to this or they leave him to his own devices which is pretty <laughs> hard to play around i mean he's tucked in a corner if a nade comes through he's dead but i don't think anyone's got an angle to get that nade in right now well, save you just got to play time on this one it did go oh, he's so blind. blinded both of them Spyro though caught it too. they're both blind here we go luke luke's just driving in all oh, the bait and the swing i love it love it oh the car drives in draws the attention but on the swing a spyro lovely 
work, good coordination together. I saw a little name appear. Yes, okay. One of K7 did start leaning over to, to help, but way too late by that point. He was done for. Virtus Pro, yes, they were disrupted in looting, but they have such a wonderful position to work with now. We've seen that ending before, right where they're currently positioned. The ditches around there, a couple of um, bits and pieces, some classic games, some real throwbacks. You know, the classic Scoom moment. We've seen some old school games end up in those fields. And as I said, Virtus Pro get the first start towards it if they want to claim that. Everyone else towards the hills, towards north side Georgia Pole, most teams believing in that. I wonder if we get some Everest plays potentially on towards the mountain top. There's still a lot of potential endings here, so who knows? And that team there just on your screen, SDK, they are big fans of Everest early on. But coming from Yasnaya this time around, it's going to be difficult for them to traverse their way all the way across there. It's a big rotation. Speaking of rotations, 4 a.m., 4 strong now, heading up to the side of the map again. This is a team, really, I mean, if you give them space early on, they're going to try and get themselves set up and pressure any team that tries to rotate in past them. But moving away from the road, I expect them to maybe come up and play above that lodge compound. It does overlook the fields you were just talking about. Potentially, actually, no, they are drifting back towards the roadside here. So maybe going to set up maybe look for some kills in rotation here not too much of an aggressive rotation you can see already yeah it's going to spread out a little bit Let's take a 2-2 with the hill and the building again this is a fairly typical play for a circle like this again mm -hmm. this is the sort of play i was talking about you, you know get yourself a spot kind of get a read on the situation get a read on the circle and then act on whether or not it goes north or south <laughs> sonic's now coming up on the back side of everest jeems i guess going to hear the audio off of this, but... Yeah. Hey, look. I'm just getting wild flashbacks. I mentioned Scoom, and then I see TSM towards North Georgia Pole. You know, like, what year is this? Wait, I don't I don't know. I'm loving it, though. I mean, it, it definitely brings me back, but we, we don't normally get to see these sort of endings. These are still a bit of a rarity. If it does go towards the North, it's, it's not quite as likely. Um, you know, if I mention Scoom, I have to bring up Break. So it's only, you know what I mean? It's 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 the one-two combo. That That's all it is. So outside of that, though, we do have the kind of South migration working their way in. So kind of like AAA, uh, Triumph, they're all going to be working their way forward. Phase pretty far off, obviously. Na'Vi, Afrika Freaks. I'm looking at Oath as well. It's going to be quite fun. It's, it's kind of a 50-50 commit at the moment. It seems like most teams that had access to the North will have gone there. Oh, no, 4 a.m. Is, is this Riwi you're going to bank on forever? That's a blind pull-up. And it's not gone well. No, it hasn't. Actually, got V taking a lot of damage on the way out as well. Looks like he's just going to manage to escape. Yeah, he will. Yep. Didn't get a tire pop, which is a miracle in the buggy. Nothing short of a miracle, but an interesting decision because, like I said, it, this setup here with the hill and this compound, we see it time and time again in similar sorts of circles. So it's interesting to see them really pit so much on that taking that compound because that i mean you ask me the compound the infantry's at is like one of the worst in the mm. game i hate it I if hate you stay it. there and, yeah. and teams set up around you you cannot get out of it whatsoever mm -hmm. no vehicles get destroyed coming out of it it's it's just in a bowl it's it's super easy to shoot into and there's no cover on the way out so unless it as I said unless it ends directly on it don't love it um i actually don't think it was really worth 4 a.m going for that either now kind of down to 3 a.m i not 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 uh, too impressed by that look just yet but someone who i am impressed by was of course a freak freaks just watching them go past the old no lean town they'll be working their way in slowly but surely on the east they've got plenty of time gustav don't don't you die early don't senya making it tricky for him to leave old rozok might need to pick up soon phase are kind of turning around so they might be kind of you know ordering the uber and gustav going for his ride no pun intended Oh, it's absolutely intended. We just don't bring light to it. So people are like, wow, they made a joke, you know? Come on. My bad. Yeah, jeez. That, that's really on me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, this is... This, you know, we're down a ginger. You know, you got to try and <laughs> embrace that spirit, you know? Work on it. Are you saying Rich would have let you get away <laughs> with that one? Yes. He's been he's been beaten down by by my atrocities for years, right? <laughs> so by this point, he just accepts his fate and just kind of carries on with his point. It's probably the smartest thing to do. Elsewhere, it'd be 
Oh, it just I guess on a fact finding mission, he's way across though from the rest of his team. Africa freaks now. It'd be interesting to see actually, and again, we talk about momentum. It's it's more of a factor, I think, for some of these Western teams. But I mean, the way they're playing right now, just that confidence play at the end of the previous game, really says a lot about kind of that switch up and how they're able to kind of build off that. I mean, the, the previous win, the Los Leones win, was was crazy for me. And again, Genji kind of had it robbed away from them with that rooftop play, but. <laughs> I take that. I I, I kind of love that rooftop play. I mean, I think it was Pio who's up there, right? And and he got it, it was, was just yeah. isolating him was huge. Like that was the gateway. Oh to... my <gasps> god! <laughs> Are we get a Zaki ending. Okay, what do you reckon? Fields, Zaki, or those like industrial area to the east of it? Which which are the three? Because I, I feel that's it. That's all it ever is. I mean, you're talking to my Katowice PTSD here because um, this is looking horribly similar. Horribly similar. And so we're actually going to get a decent amount of damage there. Two players in that UAZ, oh, yeah. though. So going to get... This is literally where it ended, by the way. This is game eight, Katowice mm -hmm. ending. This hill. That's the one. Oh, the dream. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Hickory. Purdy, Curdy's got his revenge, right? He got swept through, unfortunately. Got third party. He was getting teed up to take on a Freak of Freaks. And who knows what the ending would have been then if he was able to get the damage. This time around, though, he has connected pretty well. The flush has come in... A, through that and shoot to kill are actually really well positioned to catch any team trying to come across this very northern side of the coast through those open fields so infantry okay they go right we'll avoid that but then you've got oath waiting on the other side down in the ditch down in the dip and Morello's just going to just pour shots in get away from the czars we do not want you over here move on actually infantry pull up and nine's going to find the open to reload oath's got to try and reset here but the Pretty much pinned behind these vehicles. Infantry able to the surround them. The second one as well. Look at it. This is this is wild stuff. Like they've actually double dipped on this one. I didn't expect them to come back around. I don't think Oath oh did my either. God. Out in 16th. Oath was sitting in second coming into this game. They were looking real on point. But now Faye's going to try and do the northern run. But maybe shoot to kill is still around, or they've moved on. Uncivil going mountain go goating. Just oh no, fuzz face, fuzz face. What are we doing? What are we doing, fuzz face? What 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 is going on? Why is he down there? Narvi are now diving past. Shoot to kill. Halo. Just farming bodies. Halo with some sick shots on the way. Narvi cut down as well. Down to three here. This one going three. But look at the HP on them. Tab is super low. Loot 12. Stunner of a spray too. The man is popping off. Shoot to kill are the guardians of this side of the coast. You don't get past without paying the toll, which is in blood right now. Alos continue forward, maybe out in the open a little too much here. Has to dip away behind the defilade and find a touch of cover. Yeah, lucky there. They're actually trying to deal with Uncivil over on the rock side, but oh my god, 80 gets shut down there. Gustav will trade Uncivil out. 80 may be going to be able to break line of sight here. But Alo got to be careful. He's that. Member of SDK that is split across. And I mean, this setup from SDK was fantastic. Oh my God, look at this. Luke 12's actually pulling up. They want to regress onto phase. They want to get rid of him. Oh my, Luke, this is very, very bold. Oh my Lord, he's going to have, are you just sending it? What? Okay, okay, okay. I don't fully understand, but the aggression, it's unbridled from Luke. He's gone he's for gonna a get dip. An angle. Uber's instantly hunting. Surely Uber's going to find him. But he doesn't know where he's gone. He's lost him in the rocks. He has no clue. Look at him. Baffled by this, Gustav. Luke. Oh my god, Luke can get an angle on the res, Lauren. Oh my god. No Luke, way. Are you kidding me? Does, does he have an SLR to hand? Has he seen them? I don't think he's seen them. He's still paranoid about Uber right now. And if, if only they could see it. Now, a couple of shots come in. That's a good dink as well towards Uber. Gonna force out the heal and buy time for Luke to maybe find some more room. Kurt's coming over as well. They're committing to this. There we go. Luke's seen it now. Oh, the barrel at this range. Oh, the barrel at this range, apparently, for Luke makes it look so easy oh my we are getting some good work today and the circle closing it again towards those fields zaki still well in play phase are being shredded on the cliffs and i cannot believe the aggression from shoot to kill this is perfect stuff uber the last man standing here again he's just still desperately trying to find loop down the rock side there infantry again they've heard all of this They've definitely got decent numbers, decent information on this fight now. But I mean, Uber's now outside the circle. Circle has shifted away from this spot now. So it's going to 
kind of give this final kill it just right into the hands of SDK to be the setup was so good from SDK again just that little staggered 2-2 two -two. anticipate I mean they got three rotations gifted to them right they're up to seven kills already so absolutely making value off of this early positioning unbelievable stuff this is this is why I love these circles this is nothing better than this liquid now finally make their way through they've been trying to find approach and they can't get away from Sonics. These these two have been clashing constantly. Now Clib's seen enough or maybe heard the vehicle, seen it, whatever it may be, to kind of slowly clear as they go. Now, the hill is somewhat clear, but not by much. It looks as though Sonics have pulled up towards the field side, kind of playing that out. Gen G taking the rocks that overlook towards the south, kind of maybe a little southwest almost to it. Uh, Furia towards the top side of the city still. 4 a.m. as to what's remaining, kind of slap bang in the middle. TSM's positioning is quite nice. Hard to be fully safe, but not bad at all. This is the stage of the game where, oh Ooh. no. Sonic's trying to pull up towards VP. Tickles and gets tagged down to about half HP. Shrimzy and h win. Oh my god, the molly looked perfect. James is pulling up on this. He's trying to drive by it. It's, it's what brave. What's going on? I mean, oh my god, that Ooh. nade is better. And now you're going to have a bit of an awkward battle between these two infantry on one side, AAA on the other, and you can see them now starting to work together, work towards each other, try and clear this through. I love that Virtus Pro were elevated in those angles to catch his gems with a belcher of a shot. Oh, careful, don't overpeak now, because you're not going to just have one team looking at you. You've got Virtus Pro on the other side doing the same thing, so this is not a safe area just yet. Clip actually encroaching on 4 a.m. He's getting very close there on the minimap. You see the remnants of AAA still trying to recover off of this fight with, I, I guess, between infantry and uh, BP. But the Crib actually going to get some decent nade damage down there. But it's actually Esther at distance that finds him. He's going to be pinned behind a the rock there. Genji making use of the high ground. No kills yeah, just yet, but. Mm. Yeah, Liquid have pulled up in a really rough spot. I mean, because look at TSM as well. It goes west again. No way. No oh, way. We've got a little bit of Zaki. I've never seen an ending this far out here. I have never I seen it go towards the west at this. It normally goes towards the east where VPR, that little ditch that we saw Sonics, go Back towards the a very field. common ending. Yeah, this is incredible. I've never seen it go this far out. So we are being treated. If you've never seen a circle like this, well, neither have we really. This is brand new sort of stuff. And again, the teams, these guys know every ditch, every divot, every little bit of cover. But this might put a couple new angles to the test here. Now, the Freak of Freaks were dedicated towards the edge of Zaki, towards the kind of, you know, um, industrial compounds, the hangars out there. He's got a shot and he's trying to find it. Good tag on Lou, but unable to flush this. So 4AM should be able to live for a little while here unless that vehicle goes up. But God V, you're going to thread the needle? I don't think so. Lou's going to find one of the AAA players. And speaking of AAA, they're on the move now. Oh, <laughs> Uber just scrambling for anything to hold on to here. Again, Anything he gets is a bonus, but obviously we're still 14th away from placement points, so expect him to try and get some kills. Day is actually going to pull up, try and hold him against this tree. No damage getting traded back at all yet, but Triple A just running the bait right now, trying to get Uber to... There you go. Trying to get him to open up onto somebody who's actually Spit that finds it with the SKS, so phase out in 12th. And their woes continue after that win in game one. Yeah, a bit of a high point to start the day, but then afterwards it's kind of dipped down. Okay, so we've got the crate area kind of being taken by Genji and a bit of Na'Vi. You can't really share this too Wait. easily. And Na'Vi's got Besto and Senya now trying to clear this, but Genji have the hillside too. They can see into this. Besto's been caught. Now that's a problem. Senya's all alone here. He's got players everywhere around him, and they can nade in between this. If that just dipped down, Senya would have been dead. Hey, Nonix, looking like... Oh, what? Jeans with a bolt? That's from way off west. That was, yeah, Liquid that just pulled up to the compound to the west. Actually finds that one. So deals with the problem in Gen G's backyard for them. VP now VP finally VP. have to vacate this compound. There's, there is cover here. This is a really nicely kind of terrained out area. That's why I kind of wish we saw more fights out here. So much versatility and how you could approach this. You've got these kind of rocky areas, the lush forest. You've got these kind of, even the fields have a bit of cover towards it. But TSM have opted to the kind of foot of the hill that's a little, 
open to say the least. Now, Virtus Pro have kind of sat towards the eastern side. They haven't kind of aggressed any further. I like what Liquid did, taking the opportunity to go all the way around west. The north's getting quite busy in towards the city, but whichever way this goes, I'm loving this. Center up, I don't care. Take me anywhere on this circle. Triple A has a little look down. Not sure if they saw enough of Shoot to Kill. They definitely don't know about Alo yet. No, I think they spotted Luke 12 on that jump spot there. Alo. Prime it actually pulls to the north here. So all these teams, TSG, AAA, SDK, they can coexist for the time being. But again, whether or not SDK look to continue this aggression. Actually, look at that. Utility going through. Alo ready to follow up on it. But AAA going to play this one smart right now. They don't want to force the issue too early on. Actually, SDK are well set up to deal with it. So it, it's a tricky push either way you look at it. I mean, I, I think the AAA are okay until Virtus Pro appear, right? Like once exactly. Virtus Pro, if they, if they if they go kind of counterclockwise, um, that's where your problems begin because I think their side's open because the road's a little bit of a lower point. But that's that's not on the forefront of their minds just yet. We're looking at the south as well because Gen G, Furia, TSM all need to find a way in, and none of them are as it stands. So that's going to be a really really hard battle to fight for if you're wondering about liquid they've shuffled up a little bit towards the next compound out towards the west so they should be quite safe actually in this circle going in but this is a really unique fight look at this gen g trying to clear around this one they know there's a problem waiting s is isolated from the others he's got support from the other sides though so if he could be like the dagger in the in the back the assassin of the back lines or if he gets caught and overwhelmed he's done for Sharing the rock right now. Loki's actually going to open up with some damage. That should be the green light for Esther. He does. He finds Raspu for kill demo. Good for the trade there, and he will get shut down. This setup from Genji, absolutely deadly. There's so many angles for Furia to worry about, and actually they get the upper hand with finding their man advantage. But Genji is still so split. Look at it. And Onyx down. Good timing. Distance. For TSM. I like this from TSM moving up while that fight happens, so attention's drawn elsewhere. They try and move up. I don't know if they've cleared the 4 a hero, how aware they are of this. They should be. It looks like Wookie Boogie's got the nade. Yeah, Molly's already committed Iro. Yeah, beautiful work from him. Gonna now peek up over the top. Shoot to kill have gone down in the meantime. That's a bit unfortunate for them. Kind of split between a rock and a hard place, it felt like. Too many eyes put their way. Too much pressure to handle. 4 a.m. go down. TSM find a really strong position now. They are in a good spot. I have to see what Virtus Pro do with that if they turn their attention oh now. But God. look at this Loki up on top. He's got a great angle, but he has to evade. Work by the forward. Keep moving with that blue on your back. Good tag again. Double dips. Goes in for the triple. Can't get it. But a nice try. But it sets up PO for success in those back lines waiting. Trying to hold back Fury as they try desperately to drag themselves into that new circle. It's just rusty left standing. But, I mean, it's cost Gen.G an awful lot just to pick up these kill points. See, Loki would now bleed out through the blue. So it's just P.O. in Onyx. P.O. landed a full spray there. And I think actually that might be Rusty going to the blue. It will. So we'll lose out on another kill point. So this, I don't want to say overzealous, but it was uh, it was bold. It was definitely bold. And Fury definitely made them work for it. Okay, so Liquid towards the forest area. They're going to be holding that one. Working in from the west, their biggest threat, I honestly feel, would be from the north because that's where desperation is going to strike. When they have to start moving away from Zaki in the outskirts, they're going to have problems. So it looks like Ibi's trying to keep them somewhat safe there, but that's a lot of people looking at him. They must have known that Liquid moved to this, and there we go. Already a big bolt shot comes down. Ibi might be unrecoverable here because he was the one kind of on an island. You already had Mexi and Jeems moving out, maybe trying to secure that rotation route in, but now you can see the problem. Too many players looking their way. Jeems trying to thread the needle himself. Trying and maybe deliver a bullet through the trees using them as cover but again you could already see the problem starting to mount ibby looks gone here and actually yeah james gets shut down as well obviously ibby isolated as a compound mexi the last man standing now for liquid po actually yoinks that one away he's gonna find another kill point for free at range and see whether or not mexi decides to try and pick up some of these kills in the open as they try and cross elsewhere TSG and Triple A getting into it. Jay is already down. Yeah, actually, Volley Bear going to take a, a lot of damage Great there, nade. but Svick gets knocked to that nade. Yeah, huge nade bouncing over. Gems is struggling now. He's trying to ignore the shots from behind, but you can only ignore them for so long. That's going to be a gift from Batulins. 
triumphant make it out of Zaki for now, but they haven't entered that new circle. That's where the biggest problems are going to occur. And you can see K7 have got themselves towards the woods. But there is still Mexi in here. So that's going to be their next task. Can they clear Mexi cleanly? Do they know of his position? Pio's got himself here too. This woods can hold a couple of players without being spotted. Mexi, here's all these shots. When is it time to strike? Moving with the blue, surely he's going to have to work his way up. He can't stay prone for long. This is going to be deadly. Nice work from Mexi. A quick flush as well. A point in the pocket for him. Hits the deck again, but now Pio, keep in mind, he is going to be behind him. And now Mexi has to move forward. This blue hurts too much. Pio with a tag, but not the frag. There it is. K7 clear it out, but they are now under severe scrutiny. And again, it's unfortunate for Mexi. As soon as he shows his hand, Pio comes in with a third party as well. Oh my god, Peng with some fantastic shots. Gonna knock Lock Slock of K7. That might create an opening for TSG to take a little more ground if they try to move south side of the street. Pio and Anonic still up for Gen G. The more this progresses now, the closer the circle comes in, the more condensed these players become. And actually, that nades fantastic. There's a lot of damage onto Zenan. TSG are looking to clear this. I like this. Being proactive whilst yeah. they have the time and the space to do so. Good molly too. Yeah. Now for Zenan, he's, he's decided to kind of bear the devil you don't know, I guess. Uh, decides to just back away from that fight. The molly would have forced his hand anyway. Now this is where problems begin for TSM. With that new circle, they can shuffle up to the road, but it's going to get tricky. Zenan still looking for a way to find a new foot forward gen g holding on to scraps at this point there's the spray it looks good and it is c is gonna find out we're into the top four virtus pro with four alive tsm four alive triumph with four alive and gen g with two the circle kind of in between all of them tsm probably has the harder route to shuffle into as pio's already in yeah. there for gen g and nonix i don't know what his options are though that's that's gonna be hard for him i think at this point it's, uh, oh he does actually have a vehicle i mean if where's he kept that if he pulls up next to Pio, that could attract some unwanted attention, to be honest with you. So, oh, okay, he's not even <laughs> going to get a chance to. Volleybear going to find that one. Varn actually going to steal it away. So, TSM will post their third kill point. But this cross for TSM is not pretty at all. Pio, you can see now he's going to look back over this direction. I'm not sure about VP sightlines. I think they're playing the dip a little bit. So, whether or not they're going to be able to pressure TSM's cross... We'll have to wait and see, but P.O. lying in wait. Now the backpack's off already. He's ready to snake this one out and pounce. <laughs> he is in full snake mode. Uh, it looks like TSM are looking for the vehicles that they still have left. Wookie Pookie's already over there. He's led the way. Okay. Now I wonder how much of this P.O. seen. VP has not seen this yet. They are just over the ridge line. Now they're going to hear this. The vehicles are going to come up, but already Miraku's further ahead. And Virtus Pro have a fight on the other side. VP might just get pinched here. This could be trouble brewing. And they've heard the vehicles. You can see it. Spyro spinning around, looking scared, looking a little worried. And I don't blame him. This is not a fight they want to. Miracles managed to get so close here. And it, actually, they have the ridge here. You can see Haruzen's the sight lines no he's going to have on the loot and on Haruzen. This could be absolutely devastating for VP right now. There you go. They're not coming through from Wookiee. Miracle will pounce on this. Yeah, there's the flush, but Lou's still alive. But oh my god, TSM clearing out perfectly. Peng's found Spyro. Virtus Pro having too many fights on too many fronts, even just Batulin's alive. Ten kills, though. A valiant attempt and getting into the top four is excellent work. But you can see Batulin's is battered and broken. Threed up, but it's all red. It's not looking pretty no more. And he's going to put out all the nades, just commit all the utility and try and do a last stand with this. But while this happens, Triumph is moving up as well. They've taken good territory from where they were in the north, yeah, look, moving yeah. down towards the center point. Yeah, Shanjan back playing anchor. He's the one relaying all this information. Circle does actually pull, so that means Peng and Shanjan are going to have to try and regroup a little bit. Vard will get that confirmed onto Spyro P.O. <laughs> He's going to be a nuisance. He's going to be an absolute nuisance to TSM. Yeah, there's some real venomous snakes in the grass right now. Batulins is one of them. Man's got a grozer. Dips back down. He's like, man, you're not going to get me just yet. What is the vehicle? Now, that could be an issue. There goes his cover. And now, yeah, a lot of trouble. A lot of mollies. Everything poured in. Wookie Bookie. Another kill for him. Finds Volley Bear this time. Triumph now getting the attention from TSM. Peel is still alive. He is snaking away. He wants to be the last player in this, as late as he can be. Miraku is not. He might be picked up now. He is back on his feet. The way this is divided, Peng is kind of the backline defense here because the rest of Triumph are in trouble in this position. 
Does SM seem wary of the West stats here? Pio could live this. Oh, did he just get spotted? I'm not sure if he did just get. It looked like Wookie was about to scope in on him. Volley Bear will be able to get revived. So TSC will stay as three for the time being. TSM, I've got to feel they should be using this time to really try and clear some of this space because knowing that one member of TSG died, that will let them know there's a solo somewhere. So they have to be aware of that. You can see the caution being shown here. Very careful play. Scanning the horizon, looking by all the trees. Is there any pixel that doesn't look as though it belongs? And there's that snake waiting ever so patiently as you sit back, he's keeping that low profile. Pink seems aware of the area, but maybe a little unsure as exactly where he was. Glances to the minimap, I'm not sure if Pio's even in where he's currently prone, but TSG right now, they have the zone control. I'm going to be honest, here, they're spread further than TSM and towards the center. You can see now the star posting. So TSM are going to have a really awkward cross. Wookie is the one trying to fish out the solo, but Pio has just not shown his hand just yet. Oh, no. seen one. That's Peng. Is he forced to fight yet? Has he felt he's been spotted or rumbled? No. He waits so patiently. And the shot comes in from TSM. Pio's loving this. Oh, he's seen Wookie Bookie. Oh How has he not God. been noted? Peng's been knocked and now TSM start to work forward. Where is Pio in all of this? Barred out in the open though. See is that Pio's found Wookie Pio. Bookie. The snake strikes. The venomous bite comes in. But Pio now under pressure. Finally removed. We're down to two teams. It's currently a 3v2 as it stands. And as they stand, the Volley Bear removes Vard. Brings it back all even. And now the Reviver, desperate attempt to get Wookie Bookie back on his feet. But Volley Bear and Sia, what do they do with this Miraku? You must defend your teammates. You must hold the line. A flash goes out. Desperation pouring in. Keep in mind, Iroh's threed up, geared up, spraying down, hoping for the best. He needs this one to land. And now TSM back to three. Miraku's there towards Volley Bear. This is looking like a TSM win. And let Sia can dig deep. There's only so far you can go. And TSM, the stand-in of Wookie Bookie, standing quite literally tall after that performance. Yeah, really, really good stuff from TSM. Again, just holding the line for as long as possible. And the, the big thing was, was eliminating that threat. I mean, PO got the knock, but it didn't become a huge factor in that. TSM holding on to what they have. Like I said, TSG had the zone control. They absolutely had the zone control, but maybe a bit overzealous with the peaks there. TSM just getting it done in the late game. What a circle. Absolutely loved that game. The way it ended was fantastic. We saw some great plays all around. Triumph out there, Na'Vi out there, Virtus Pro out there. Everyone putting up numbers. Definitely caught a couple of people off guard heading up towards Zaki, but that certainly is going to be one to remember for me. And TSM, very pleased with that, I'm sure. A little bit of a rocky road for them, but they pulled it together here, and especially with a stand-in. Missing one of their biggest, you know, firepower players. Yeah. Wookie Bookie not playing his traditional role. He's done incredibly well. There he is on the screen. The big man himself towers above everyone else, but in game as well at the moment. Oh, really, really good stuff from them. I, I got to come back to it, though. This this STK play. That for oh me, God, the setup? just Ooh. the absolute highlight. It's just fantastic to see. And this is something they've kind of put to work in, in North America previously, but... These guys on your screen, TSM, a big win for them. Again, you know, talking about the weekly finals, you know, a chicken dinner, it's only, it's only eight games, right? So it, it is a little bit shorter in terms of PUBG series than we are traditionally used to. So getting a win out on the day one should give them a little bit of breathing space. It's fantastic to see them step up. And like you said, with the standards,